So this is not an official cooking video, but I came up with this recipe in my mind last night and I thought it would be a great idea to make. I'm gonna make some sides to go with it, but um, of course the recipe is not fully um, new. You know, there's nothing new under the sun, but this is my take on what I call a lasagna florentine. So I'm gonna start with the sauce that I made. Most of this is made from scratch. Um, I'll put the ingredients if asked in the in the in the caption. But um, this is the sauce, the Florentine sauce that I made. By the way, this is a vegetarian recipe. This is not an alkaline friendly recipe. This is a vegetarian recipe. Um, so it's meatless, but it does contain dairy products. By the way, I greased my pans with grapeseed oil. So I'm gonna start with the bottom layer here that goes underneath the noodles that I boil. Don't need a lot. Whew. And now that I did that, by the way, this is my first time making lasagna. I have never made, I've made a lot of things and I'm a cook, I'm a good cook, but I've never made lasagna. So I'm gonna start laying down my noodles. If I, I'll get distracted if I think of all the ingredients and spices that I put in there. Alexa, play. I'm pretty sure I made way more than that. Not all I see it, I made way more than enough sauce for this recipe. I'm glad I did that. Now there's some people who are more experienced at making lasagna. Maybe you see something that I'm doing and you have a uh, suggestion. But um, actually the first time I started eating a white lasagna, it was uh, with a church member of mine who's known me since I was an infant, Miss Austin. Miss A, she, I would go to her house and she would make a vegetarian lasagna and it would have this white sauce and I'm like, is this magic? Like, why does it taste so good? I don't. I didn't even know lasagna could look like that. So every time I would go, one of my best childhood memories is going over to to her house and spending time there. And she would, in the kitchen, I was always around really good cooks. Always in the kitchen. Really, really good cooks. So, um, so she would uh, ask me to help her. She would have me help her cook it. And, um, man... I, that never left me. I'll always remember that lasagna. So of course I can't, I can't uh, mention this recipe or make this recipe and leave that out. This is when I, that's when I first experienced a lasagna with the white sauce. So I'm putting my sauce down again. See, it's really saucy. <laughs> but uh, I kind of feel like I need to put some sauce down, and here's why. Not the most even distribution. Okay. I don't even think this video can play now that I think about it. Alexa, pause. I post this up on social media. They'll tell me like they'll tell me I don't have the licenses to the music. Like I didn't already know that. <laughs> Jeff. So now I'm gonna put and yes, my hands are washed. I'm going to put my zucchini, and I didn't boil or steam the zucchini. I wanted it uh, firm and not too juicy. So I actually air fried it, seasoned it in the air fried it, or I could have baked it, but the air fryer, you know, y'all know how fast the air fryer works. Okay, so we're putting down our zucchini. This is part of my recipe. Um, 
and I'm going to put this will work. My broccoli. Um, I was a little disappointed in the broccoli. I put it in the steaming crock pot that had the top that doesn't move until it's cooled down. The broccoli's overcooked. I wanted the vegetables to have a bite to them. Keep in mind, this is a meatless recipe, and it also doesn't contain any meatless um, supplements. So when it comes to texture, you want a bite. You want something with a little chew, something with a little texture that's not all mushy. But the broccoli's a little mushy, but the flavor's still going to be really, really good. So I decided to keep it. And there goes some broccoli. Um, carrots, is, carrots are also in the sauce as well as, as, well as other uh, fresh ingredients. Oh, um, I can't do this with two hands. Stay tuned. Next, we have another special ingredient, artichokes, artichoke hearts. I want it to be a really vegetable, hearty lasagna. And that it is. <laughs> I made neater displays of food. Um, I'm sure it's going to come out looking great regardless. But as far as the way that I'm doing it while holding the phone in my hand and cooking, I'm sure it could be a lot neater. I tend to put attention into that. People eat with their eyes first. So we got some. That's probably enough. All right. Probably way more than enough. And what I'm going to do next, let me put this back down. Okay, I can't, I can't do all this with two hands. Next, I'm going to grade um, some mozzarella and also have some sharp white cheddar. And there's also another type of Parmesan or something, another cheese in there. And I'll, when I find out, I'll let you know what it is. I'll be back. 